What's good, party people? This is your friendly neighbor, Chad the Maverick, back again with another video. And um, today is the beginning of Mercury Retrograde. Hooray! I want everyone to be excited. Because this Mercury in Retrograde is a lot different than other ones that have passed. I, I don't feel like this is a very stereotypical Mercury retrograde that pops up um, on Instagram or pops up on, you know, certain blogs or whatever. I don't think it's that type of retrograde. I think this retrograde is more about pulling back and pulling um, what used to be your dream and giving you a new platform to try that out. So I think this Mercury Retrograde is helping you use a platform in order for you to initiate the next stage of getting towards your dreams. Because by 2020, with the way the shifts are going to be happening, is that we're going to be on a whole different wave for these things. And I know everyone says, yeah, next year is this, next year is that. I'm not going to give you any, like, 2020 is going to be the best year ever. But it could be if you make it that way. And this is about, I guess, trying to find what that dream is, how to combine that with your feelings and how you can use those together in order to create concrete solutions and concrete opportunities for yourself in the future. So that's my quick quip about Mercury Retrograde. Now I'm going to actually go into the science of it all. So cool. Right now we are literally on the Tropic of Cancer. The sun's on the Tropic of Cancer in 15 degrees and it's directly conjunct the North Node at this point. So keep in mind that this, everything that happens in this general time frame has very much to do with destiny. The North Node is what your destiny is aligned to. So people watch and look for where um, the cancer placements are in your own charts to see where this will affect it. But there's definitely... It's interesting how the North Node is literally on this summer is just so critical for your dreams and for everything else that comes along with it. And I, I don't know how to stress that more. So just be mindful this um, summer as far as what you want to uh, be a part of, I suppose, or be able to portray. So because, yeah, now let's get into the actual day. So Sunday July 7th. Cool. So Mercury goes retrograde tonight. Right now, the moon is trying Pluto and Saturn and Mercury finally stations. So with the moon um, trying Pluto and Saturn, there is uh, there's almost like this is like a checkpoint in a way. This is a checkpoint as far as can you check back to see where your feelings were aligned with what you actually wanted to accomplish because these things are now going to kind of solidify. They're going to solidify as long as you were making sure that you kept your um your independent nature in a sense. You have to keep your independent nature. You have to dive into like your general emotions in order for you to tap into those things because Pluto and Saturn and Capricorn right now are making people really harness their own character and harness who they truly are and how to inhabit their bodies and making this trine with um, Uranus and Taurus and giving more stability as to how these characteristics are going to be playing out for the rest of our time, rest of our lives type deal. Like it's that deep. <laughs> it's, it's actually that deep. Um, not to, you know, frighten anyone, but just kind of that deep, not going to lie. Plus, the moon is going to be in Virgo and the trine is going to be with Capricorn. So with the trine with Virgo energy, it's about finding the in-between details. This is a day where you're kind of like understanding what your skill set is. Um, 
And you have to go back and think of this is a great time to review. This is why Mercury retrograde people get scared, but it's a great time to review like what you've done. Look at the work that you've done within this last three months. Anything, anything that it could have been, could have been you just making sure you woke up at a certain time every day. It could be something super simple, but that super simple thing is now going to become a very useful skill going on to the rest of this and especially throughout mercury retrograde so find and remember what skill that might be because you're going to be harnessing that during this retrograde season and this eclipse that just launched us into this new um cycle so this is all going to be um in between the lunar eclipse too so just keep that in mind and we have monday Monday, Mercury is officially retrograde and is going to be directly conjunct Mars. Wow. So with the Mercury and Mars conjunction there in four degrees or four degrees, I'm sensing there's a, there's a lot of fire that we've been wanting to express. There's been a lot of passion that we've been wanting to express to um, throughout ourselves and to others, but for right now, that's semi dampened or has been dampened prior when Mercury was in Cancer. What we're doing now is we're sensing into the actual, hmm, we're sensing into the power that we felt after harnessing our emotions, but we're not completely ready to showcase it all yet. We're getting glimpses of it from right now until Mercury goes back into Cancer. We're going to be getting glimpses of what people want to see us be like because that's really how we feel um the kind of like the i said what i said type energy in a way um i don't know what else i'm getting from that but that's that's that version or that part of it so venus and cancer is going to be directly square chiron so because Venus and Cancer is going to be square Chiron and Aries, be mindful that you are your own individual, despite being part of a group or a part of like, your family. You're still, you have to understand that you're, you are a part of a tribe, but you are your own individual within that tribe. So try, it's going to be a back and forth because sometimes even being yourself, you can push and cause friction to the other side of the trap or you know but it's good because you're going to be able to find a new medium or a new middle ground if you really play it out the way that it's supposed to go that's what i'm getting from this venus in chiron and venus sextile uranus so let's take that whole chiron energy i was just speaking on this is going to be a random um scenario i feel a random scenario arises where you can find true healing within, um, specifically probably through just speaking to someone from, like, let's say, like your soul family or speaking to someone from someone who's able to relate to you on a spiritual or emotional level. So, yeah, that's what I'm picking up on that day. It's going to come to you in a random opportunity. You're going to think like you would have never thought that would happen, if that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. But we're also in Mercury retrograde and... Neptune's a Pisces, so, you know. <laughs> Next day, so we're going to July 9th. So July 9th, we're going to have the sun opposing Saturn. Sun, in, oh, sh okay. So Tuesday, be mindful Tuesday. Tuesday is Mars Day. Mars Day, it's going to be a lot of energy around this day. Try not to be too forceful with anything because it's going to be a direct... Oh, shit. Wow. So the sun is going to be opposing Saturn and Pluto, but mostly Saturn, directly Saturn. And Venus is going to be trying Lilith. So um, the best way to, wow, that's a lot. So the best way to put this right is when the sun opposing Saturn, the sun and Saturn are natural, um, I want to say enemies, but they're like a yin and yang to one another. In certain senses, I'm going to break down Saturn in another video at some point, but the way that that goes about is that there's an opportunity to break through 
what you've previously you who you previously tried to have your persona be, who how you, your personality is on the outside. It's going to be a certain sense of freedom that comes through on that day by you actually making the the commitment to yourself to honor yourself and honor your actual being. Um, it's a huge thing I'm getting up right now. So the second part is Venus trying Lilith. So make sure that you use this this type of energy to update how you really feel, how you want to how you want your aura to feel when you meet other people. Like what do you want them to perceive you like? What kind of energy do you want them to know about you from just interactions in comparison to talking about? Um it's a very, like I said, feelings type of energy and with Mercury about to go back into cancer it's all going to be about emotional nothing really logical from it but also keep in mind this other uh, oppositions with um capricorn so they're going to be some things are going to be as great of a lesson as it can be in one go but it's not to harm you it's just to teach you and to have you understand that in order to reach higher parts of your destiny, you still have to go through um, specific instances that you may have thought that you were over, if that makes sense. Like, that's what I'm picking up for July 9th. All this energy is super heavy. I'm not going to lie, like, at all. Um, sun conjunct the known on the 10th. So the same thing, as I said um, yesterday, for the most part. Uh, the moon is going to be in Scorpio. Ooh. So the moon's going to be in Scorpio with the sun in Cancer in North Node. So you're going to really get, take some time out that day to either have a really very, like a very deep conversation with someone um, about life. <laughs> like have, that's a great life convo day. Or really take the time out by yourself and journal, write things down, um, make some create, make music, do something cool. Um, but because this is when it's going to be directly afflict, it's going to be um, opposite Uranus and Taurus. So these type of energies are going to like push and launch you forward in a way, because it's like these conversations are going to lead you into the next part of the next section of your life. Um, it's like, you know how when you're about to graduate from school, you start speaking to the people that you haven't spoke to in a while. And they're like, oh, yeah, blah, blah. And it's just because, like, you're like, oh, remember this. It's one of those, like, type of feelings where it's like, remember old times, but also keep in mind that the old times aren't now. So you have to start from a new place if that's the case or if those people are going to stay, if that makes any sense. I hope that resonates with someone. But, um, yeah, so that day, Venus, cool. I'm just going to go to the next day. So we have July 11th. Um, sun's going to be trying Neptune, Mars square Uranus and Mars trying Chiron. Oh, another heavy day. Surprise, surprise. So <laughs> the sun in Cancer is going to be directly trying Neptune and Pisces. With that being said, Neptune is going to bring you closer to this dream that you've had, or at least show you a glimmer of really how far you can go. It's going to get like a really quick glimmer of like how far you can really take these things that you're working towards. Like, and it's all about the heart because the Mercury, the, um, Mercury and Mars are in Leo right now. So it's all about what you love. This is all about passion, like what you really feel. And so this day is going to show you like a glimpse of like all the things you really feel. You get to see that dream for real on this day. So keep that in mind. When Mars is going to be square Uranus, so you might find it within something you wouldn't have expected. But that's exactly how you're able to find where that energy is for you. So definitely keep that in mind because that's deep. And Mars square Chiron. Yeah, so that instance is going to also be bringing you an opportunity to heal. 
and heal like a real wound and it's going to heal instantly like it's almost instant it's uh the way that the trine and the square is working i feel like it's just going to be like this instant like heal um kind of like if you're watching a movie and they give you like one of those packs in the future and you just magically heal whatever happened that's what's going to happen with that um transit so yeah that's dope that's cool so with all that heavy energy there's still a lot of healing that's given to us and when we um accept our higher higher selves and our highest facets if that makes sense so we have july 12th and for july 12th we have the sun trying moon and the moon trying neptune and so for the sun trying moon on that day we have cancer trying well i mean it's kind of trying whatever but the moon is definitely going to be trying neptune that is a definite so that's one of those things where as it shifts into Sagittarius as well because this is a zero degree mark Sagittarius so I feel like I'm supposed to see it like this but there's going to be an indication where that vision you saw the other day is going to actually pull through or it's going to actually be shown to you like what it is and how you're connected to that. It's going to show you how you're connected to that original dream that you had. And so sorry, this video gets long. Uh, it's kind of drawn out, but this is Mercury retrograde. And I want to like, this is also showing it because I'm trying to like really give the info. And then some of it's just like, blocked ish but really hope this resonates please like the video if you haven't yet comment subscribe all that good stuff um thank y'all for actually being here listen to parody so i'm gonna stop talking now but <laughs> um the moon trying is really going to show you the dream dream portion of all of this uh, so we have saturday july 13th on Saturday, July 13th, the moon is going to be conjunct Mars. The moon is going to be trying Chiron and the moon is going to be conjunct Jupiter. So the moon is going to be conjunct Jupiter in trying Mars or moon on Jupiter retrograde with Mars in there. You're going to fall. There's going to, it's just going to be your lucky day. Saturday, July 13th is a very lucky day. Um, that's that's yo that's really what i'm picking up from it it's a super lucky day i say really try your luck the moon trying the chiron the moon is going to teach you a lesson about really enjoying feeling like yourself it's weird like the more you feel like yourself that day the more healing that you're going to gain from it naturally you won't even have to think about it I don't know how what circumstance will pop before that, but that's definitely what I'm picking up. So we have Sunday, July 14th. So we have the sun opposing Pluto and the moon conjunct Jupiter. So the sun opposing Pluto, similar to the Capricorn one from the other day, but with the sun opposing Pluto, we're going to, so that thing that you just set up, that other day with Saturn, this is the time frame where we're going to shed our skin in a way. We're going to really show, oh, and the moon's going to be on the galactic center. Yeah, so this day we're literally shedding off our, it's the metamorphosis. This is the summer metamorphosis. That's word. I like that. That's the title now. This is the summer metamorphosis. This is the real integration into the summer, into this yeah, it's the summer. Like, the summer is super important. I don't know why it keeps coming through, but that's what it is. Um, yeah, so hold hold on to that because it's going to really metamorphosize. The summer metamorphosis. I shouldn't even write that down. That's all I'm picking up from that. So be prepared. The energy might be really strong that day. So make sure you have your gems and your crystals on deck. Make sure you have some meditation work. Make sure you work out that day. Make sure you do something of that nature. Whatever you feel, whatever works for you, write down affirmations. Just live your life. But it's a very important day to do so, especially with the Galactic Center and the fact that we just had a Galactic Center full moon last month. 
So those things are going to be pulling through. To, whew, y'all don't know, yo. Because <laughs> I don't either, but still, this is crazy. Oh, man. I love this. So <laughs> July 15th, we have the moon trying Uranus. And with the moon trying Uranus is that it's going to be a random, a random occurrence that allows you to connect better to your passion project or your dream project. So there's going to be a flash of inspiration that occurs. A random person might pop up. I'm thinking like a, a Aquarius or a Uranus dominant person, um, maybe even Saturn dominant coming and approaching you and really having a conversation about the future and what could be made in the future. That's what I'm picking up for that day. And then July 16th, we're going to end this off right here. No, we're going to end this off in a couple of more days, but the 15th. Oh, I'm wrong. One second. July 16th, Tuesday, July 16th, we're having a full moon and the full moon is going to be in Capricorn. And this full moon is going to be directly conjunct Saturn and Pluto. Oh, so, oh my goodness. So, <laughs> Everything I said beforehand, please, if you don't remember what I've said during this or you haven't taken notes, like go back, listen through it again, and then understand that this is the Mercury retrograde that goes over the North Node and then goes into this culmination of the full moon, which is going to be pushing all of this out. And then over two weeks, that's going to be um, kind of manifesting itself. And then the next two weeks after that is when it's going to be active in your life. I dropped something when I did that. So just letting you know, (laughs) that's awesome. So yeah, the full moon and cap, I'm going to have a different video or some type of post about the full moon and cap when I get more info on it, but that's pretty much what's going up right now. And then that full moon and cap is actually the lunar eclipse as well. So this is pretty much up to just a lunar eclipse. Um, I kind of wanted to go more, but it's a lot, it's more energy. That's like out, I guess. And I put a lot into um, this video just to really try to give you a best pinpoint for how you can best maneuver. So that's what these videos are kind of for. Low transit weather, all that stuff. But yeah, so um, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, like it. If you really liked it, comment. If you love these and want to see more, subscribe. And listen to Paradiso because I really, that album is all of this energy that's really going on is literally what this album sounds like. And I really couldn't pinpoint why until right now. And it's like, wow, that's really what it was for. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoy. Have a great day, week, life, whenever you hear this. And yeah, wishing you the best. Peace out.